indeed the library we've all been to a historic library we've all enjoyed the smell of a historic library but what is it and what does it mean when we've recently when at UCL Center for Sustainable Heritage we've recently been asked to assess the environment at another historic library at St Paul's Cathedral the Wren library an incredible place it, and it has such an intensive smell of old books and we were also asked for the first time really I was actually quite taken aback by the brief we were asked whatever you do please preserve the smell it's so important to our audience it's so important how people perceive the, 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 the library so that uh, that was quite an important message uh, in our research and indeed smell is an important way of how we communicate with the environment this piece of research was done by an, by an advertising company because advertisers are so interested in how we, how we interact with each other and the environment. And we see that, uh, that the majority of people use sight, obviously, to, um, to interact with the environment. But on the second place, we see that smell is also very, very important. It is also a very, very interesting, uh, interesting sense. I'll talk a bit about that later. Hearing is obviously very important, and all three of those are, uh, uh, represent how we interact with heritage environments. We, we look at things, we, we smell things, we, we hear creaking doors and floors. Um, interestingly, taste is also up there somewhere. Uh, now, we don't get to taste the Mona Lisa very often, but I'll just tell you that uh, in, a, in a science cafe uh, I was involved in a couple of years ago in Norwich,